Hello everyone, this is Zach here, Drainer. I'm going to show you how to get around to playing some Cataclysm. Roguelike Radio did a episode on them, and they had the creator, and it sounded really cool, so of course, first thing I did was go over to Bay 12 Forum, and yeah, Forum Thread. Awesome. So I went down, it's like, hmm, and I've read this far, and I'm going to finish reading it before I actually get serious about playing it, but it's like, it was pretty cool, so I'm like, oh, that's cool. And so far it sounds like the Windows version that someone else made because the actual guy who programs it doesn't have a Windows system. So the Windows one is kind of unstable or that's just, that's what I've gotten so far. So found this. It's a way to use VirtualBox and a preset up Linux to get the Cataclysm running right. So yeah, first you have to go to VirtualBox and get it. Yeah, newest one. Not gonna hold your hand, it's just installing a program. Next, TinyCore Linux, it's just a pre done up Linux. You download it, you're gonna end up, it's gonna be a RAR, it's like you should be able to take care of that. Just extract it wherever, I'm using 7-zip and you'll get that. Next up, is going to be using VirtualBox and everything after this is going to be something I'm just going to show you in the actual thing and then down here I might get to this it's just helps with it just traces debug and stuff whatever Ooh, throwing around technical words and shit like that. okay yeah VirtualBox clean install it might actually have some kind of pop-up saying hey you just opened this Blur, 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 but whatever. New. Next. Tiny Core. And it should automatically set this to Linux and this to Oracle when you finish typing that in. If it doesn't, do it yourself. Not really that much of a big problem. Default that. Use existing. Use the thing you just extract. Tiny Core Linux. Next. Create. And you'll create. Tiny core. Not exactly that hard. Yeah. Virtual box set up. Blah 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 blah. Tiny core. We. Mhm. Mm Woo. Setting up everything. Okay. Yeah. Now we're here. And just download or period whatever that slash is called and download and this will take a little bit of time I think it might not it's rushing yeah it slows down about here for me it's like maybe if your internet connection is good it won't take that long but for me it takes a little bit of time so I'm gonna talk about the game itself it's a uh, as far as I've read so far it's quite amazing it's a it's a roguelike for one, so it's like automatically that's just plus ten in my book. <laughs> um, it's zombie apocalypse survival open ended. Throw out a bunch of buzzwords from the roguelike community for this kind of stuff. Woo, yeah. Basically, what it means in the end is you're going to die. That that's not hyperbole. That's not you might the most likely you'll die before you win at some point. No, it means you are going to die. This is after the apocalypse. Zombies of all kinds. It's like, including Left 4 Dead zombies, lots of random stuff. Well, not random. It's just a bunch of stuff the author thought was cool. It, it was based off of uh, NetHack. So it's got the... It started with uh, everything, including the kitchen sink. So it's like, it's got Triffids, which... It's like, I hadn't heard of before this. It's like, I went and got a copy of the book on my computer. It's like, I'm going to read that. It looked pretty awesome. It's like, carnivorous plants that are mobile. Sure. But yeah, it's got a bunch of other stuff, including some spoiler, 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 spoiler. And also some spoiler, 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 spoiler. Yeah, awesome stuff. Oh, hey, finished downloading. And now, compile. Ooh, this will take a little bit of time as well. So, yeah, more me talking. 
Yeah, it, it's basically, like I said, survival after the apocalypse, zombie apocalypse in this case, or something close enough that it's not worth mentioning otherwise. And, yeah. Currently, there is no win condition, so it's like Dwarf Fortress, except instead of controlling seven drunken dwarves, you control one drunken human cyborg mutant random whatever else you want to add thing to it. Yeah. Oh, and drugs. Lots of drugs. <laughs> yeah. The author liked the, uh, 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 what game was it? Uh, God, I'm blanking out. It's, it's something I should remember. Um, they talked about it on the roguelike radio. They did one of it, yeah. I'll have a link of that in the... Yeah, listen to me just kind of stutter around. Oh, but yeah, you can get addicted. And, uh... The way you get XP in the system isn't by killing monsters or anything. Because he didn't want that. It's like, most roguelikes kill a monster, get XP. No. Here it's morale. As in... The happier you are, the more experience you get. And then experience goes into pools like in uh, Crawl. It's like you get the experience, it goes into the pool, and then as you use skills, it goes to those skills. And yeah, just finished compiling here. Now I'm going to get this debug thing set up, though. I'm going to get with the Echo so that next time I do it, I can just start up the thing with the... Echo, um, Echo, CD Cataclysm, CD Cataclysm, Debug, Echo, G, something, something, EX, Debug, and then ch mod. Oh yeah, this is one thing. Ch mod, and then if you just do what it tells you to do, that's what happens. Because I think it's an error. Or I'm just got a weird system, or I don't know it, but. This is, that's how I get to work. Flopping around the number and the name of the file. And then you just, hey, dot slash debug. Oh, yeah. forgot a step. Yeah, you have to also, let's see, TC load WI. TC e load WI <laughs> G whatever that is dot TCZ TCZ G D B G D B dot TCZ I think er, no not A Z I said Z but I typed the wrong thing. Silly me. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, this is another thing that's going to take a little bit of time. But yeah, this is just setting it up so that when you do the game, and if it crashes, it's going to end up with the trace at the end so you can post it at the form for the thing or email it to the author or whatever you decide you want to do. It's like, yeah. Basically... He's making this game, and in the roguelike radio, he says the only thing even close to programming before this that he did was a Pac-Man clone. So, like, this is his first major programming attempt at anything. And I've looked into the code and stuff, and it's like, it's easy to read. Well, it's like, 
that doesn't happen. It's like, I want to help him. It's like, and if, it's like, and if it's easy as just doing a little extra time at startup, it's like, I'm willing to do that. But yeah, I think I was talking about experience. Yeah, being happy. It's like drinking some alcohol, listening to some music, you know, doing some cocaine or something like that. Drugs and such. Yeah, makes you happy. <laughs> you could get addicted, though, so. Well, yeah, it's like, it's drugs. But, you know, you can find a pretty good source. You want, there's not really that many things right now for building, like, a secure spot, just barricading doors and windows. But, he wanted it to be, uh, uh, just moving out and nomadic kind of game, so that kind of fits in with it. It's like, you can have something like that where you're kind of got some kind of addiction or something because even though stuff doesn't respawn or anything like that, you're supposed to keep on moving. So if you keep on moving, you're going to the next town, finding that stash somewhere else or whatever, or, you know, just go through withdrawal. It's like people do in real life, you can go through in your game, but it causes pain, which causes penalty, but not, not the happiness drop or moral or whatever. Yeah. Moral, yeah. Morale. So, yeah. Being happy gives you XP. XP goes in the pool. You do stuff. It goes into that stuff. And it, it's like... Like I already said, I think. It's like crawling that way. Or maybe they've changed that and crawl. It's like they changed to the new experience system and then it's like... I don't know what's happened. I haven't really played Crawl in a while. And I'll be honest, this is, uh... I've basically taken the approach of if I'm playing a game, I might as well record it. So, yeah. I don't really play games that often. But, yeah. What I've seen of this one, it seems like it's going to be pretty cool. I saw someone comment that it replace Prospector as their uh, world explorer kind of roguelike and well I don't think it can do that because they're different genres it's like Prospector is a space exploration somewhat open end well it is open ended you can just keep going I guess it's pretty big but yeah this is also I guess pretty big isn't really the best way to say it since it's like literally magnitudes bigger than the Earth area for you to explore. <laughs> and let's see, uh, there's a there's a server version which is sounded like the best way to play from Windows using the uh, putty. What's it called? Yeah. But I want to have uh, my own version because the way it works isn't that it's multiplayer. It's that you're all just happening to play on the same world. So if someone comes by and does something like light a building on fire, when you go and go there, once they've left, it's going to have a building on fire there. Or, for instance, if you have a starting area and everyone, oh, I don't know, loots the fuck out of it, when you start a new game, guess what's going to be there? Nothing. Yep. Nothing at all. Looks like that stop finished up, so yeah. Let's see. Period or a slash debug. And it worked this time. Yeah. See? And yeah, it's kinda getting on in time, so I'm gonna show you what that debug thing does. I quit and here it says program exited normally. That means I just exit, and that's good. That's basically how you want it to happen. But if it didn't, it's going to give you a bunch of information that basically you just get copy paste or screenshot or whatever you want to, whatever you can do with it. I don't think you can copy paste, so yeah. But yeah, so that you can give it to the author. And then to get out of this and get back to the thing. No, he not quiet. Quit. Boom! And then... Yeah, that's
that's pretty much it. Yep. Well, that's how it works. I hope this helps some people. Anyway. Oh yeah, one last thing. When you go to close the thing, you could use whatever options are down here. But if you do this, I, I read it's like even if you still have the game open or whatever, it's going to save the state. So next time you open it up, if for instance you had the game on, it'll be right where you left it because it saved the machine state. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, yeah. It's been Acura Dragonheart showing you how to get Cataclysm running. And I'm signing off.